All right, why volunteer? Um, this is such like a um, big concept of why to volunteer because there's so many different reasons and it's, um, you know, some, some obvious and, and some for specific reasons. So it really is, um, depends on you and what matters to you and what's important to you and um, what you want to stand for. Um, but we definitely all do have things that we believe in and things we stand for, um, people that we want to help. And so it's a matter of doing all that and um, incorporating that, at, especially at this time of year where there are people who really are in need. And also this time of year gives us kind of that opportunity because there are so many charities that, um, for example, my church does, you can um, pick a family to provide Christmas presents for uh, because they, they don't have the means to, and that's always really fulfilling. So um, I would say a major reason is because of the way it makes you feel as well as selfishly as that is, um, it really does make me personally happy to give to others. Um, and that's kind of the spirit of these holidays too, is giving and um, providing things for others to make them happy um, and taking away that um, selfishness from it because it's making you happy to see them happy. Um, so I would say volunteer because it does so much for the world. It's so needed and um, you're making others happy and really making a change. So I'm gonna play the devil's card on this one and say that that's great <laughs> and uh, definitely makes you feel happy and everything, but if you want to be selfish about it, why should I volunteer? You can get scholarships. Mm -hmm. You can use it on your college app as an experience. Mm -hmm. uh, you're gonna gain new skills for yourself, and it also makes you feel nice. Yep. So I can jump into those points later on, Looks but I just want to be man. that guy. Mm -hmm. So we well, can. Uh, <laughs> on top of that, you know, one of the big things about volunteering is it's free. Yeah. It doesn't cost you a dime. I mean, in some cases it does if you're going on like a big trip or whatever like that. But it's free to volunteer locally. It doesn't cost you anything. Sometimes you get a free t-shirt. Sometimes you get free food. Yeah. But it doesn't cost you anything. And I mean, if you want to give back to the community, like I always want to like do stuff for charity. I want to like donate toys and stuff. I want to mm -hmm. donate coats. But I don't have the money for that because I have bills to pay. You're in college. You're in high school. You don't have money. So if you want to get back, it's volunteering is the easiest way because it's it's free. It doesn't cost you anything, and we all love free stuff. You're gonna go to the free movie showing on campus. Why not go to the free volunteer day? And I always felt I feel like I didn't do enough volunteering at college, and they had like would have like days of service. And one day I was walking back from. Um, breakfast and I was like oh, I feel like there was something I wanted to do today and this whole big group of like half the campus comes up and they're all wearing t-shirts and they're coming back from the service day and I'm like that's what I wanted to do <laughs> and I missed it and I wish I hadn't so like don't go back thinking because now I have fewer outlets for that um, for me to go and like find those volunteering and especially being on like a college campus being in high school there are so many opportunities that are presented to you yeah. that people are just saying, oh, here's this opportunity to go volunteer. As an adult, you have to go seek that out, and it is more difficult. It should not be because I should be proactive, in it, admittedly, but it is, with it being so available to you, why don't you just you know, take advantage of it? Yeah, I just want to bring up a, a sponsor, if you will, that they've done a lot of stuff with us, and mm -hmm. we've worked a lot with them, is do something.org. And do something.org is you can just jump right on their site and you can find a cause that you're passionate about and they're probably gonna have it. And so yeah. you can jump right in and join whatever you wanna do. And that's gonna be tied to you specifically. So in the case where you might be in a local town, your college town, and they're not doing something mm -hmm. you're very passionate about, you can go up with these guys and they have this site dedicated to all those things. And they actually offer scholarships too, which yep. I mentioned briefly. So. Do something.org, I'd, I'd recommend jumping on and checking it out. Yeah. Uh, one of my main things was in uh, high school, I, I always volunteered for a soup kitchen. And that, you might think, is what are the skills you're gaining? I can ladle soup and, and feed people. Mm -hmm. That's not a skill. That's not the skill. The skill is communicating with people. You're meeting these people that you've never met before. They're coming in nine times out of 10. They're so grateful and so thankful and they just want somebody to talk to. And the stories you hear from these people are incredible and inspiring. 
So sit down, talk with people. You never know the background of somebody. They could have, you know, I don't even want to get into details, but these people are all incredible and all have different circumstances. Listen to their stories. You're gonna gain the skills to communicate one-on-one -on -one with people better. You're gonna be able to take that and do podcasts and <laughs> YouTube videos, and you can use that skill in so many different scenarios. It's unbelievable that you can take that and you can bring it into customer service. You can yeah. take that and you can bring it into presenting. You can take it. And yeah. there, there's a lot. So don't think of something as, oh, I'm just volunteering at a soup kitchen. I'm, yeah. I'm dishing out food. Think of, think creatively of what you're gaining from this yeah. experience. And you're getting that skill. You're gaining these stories that mm -hmm. you can then use. So if you have a college app and it's what's yeah. one of the most life-changing things that has happened to you, you can talk about your experiences at the soup kitchen and talk about somebody that inspired you. Uh, another example is I worked at the little general hospital for a little while and there was a guy outside that had no legs, he was in a wheelchair and this will like never leave my mind, he was smoking cigarette butts out of the, the ash can, like the, mm -hmm. you know, the tray where you, you smash them out. And so I talked to him and he was telling me all about his life with addiction and how he's mm -hmm. overcoming it and he's still addicted to nicotine and cigarettes and this guy basically poured his heart and soul out to me and I was... 16 mm -hmm. you know so that's something that <laughs> i was able to write about on my college mm -hmm. app and, mm -hmm. and um i imagine it did a lot for him too to have somebody to talk to and connect with and what you're really doing for him as well in that in that right mm -hmm. yeah yeah definitely and that's a uh, just to jump kind of to the de-stress and the volunteer and bring those things together even if take the time to talk to your friends and family mm -hmm. and really listen to them because you never know when somebody's on that brink mm -hmm. of doing something terrible or you know they, they might be ready to to snap and then years later they'll probably loop back to you and, and tell you hey mm -hmm. you know you reaching out to me for the holidays and I had nowhere to go and you said do you want to come to my house yep. that meant a lot to me and I was in a really dark place at that time yep. so do that like it's it's you know. Yeah, and while you're feeling like stressed and like really focusing on you and how you're feeling and maybe feeling like a little bad for yourself or just like, you know, harnessing all of that, doing stuff for other people can really help you have the perspective that not everything's about you, your life's not that hard and, you know, kind of just put things in perspective for you to move forward and be like, all right, everything's going to be fine. It's mm -hmm. really not that big of a deal. Another thing with volunteering is that you can you can make a lot of new friends with it. Um, people that you've never met before so especially as a freshman in college especially if you're really shy in high school um, finding these volunteer opportunities and going to them gives you a chance to like interact with other people who maybe are your age maybe a little bit older than you um, and it can help you make those friends you know if you do you, like in the first week or something uh, you do a volunteer trip or you do like I um, I think in my first month I went to the Ronald McDonald house um, in Burlington and we cooked a meal we didn't get to sit with the people who ate the meal but we cooked a meal for them and then we went back and like a week later I was sitting alone at lunch because my friends were in class or something and someone comes over like oh hey we did the Ronald McDonald house thing and I'm like yeah totally come on sit down and we you know made a new friend um, so it's an easy way to connect with people not just who you're volunteering to support but people who are also volunteering who share the same values as you and uh, people I find are just always, I mean, no matter what it is, are just so grateful. I know that um, my freshman year of college, I volunteered raking leaves because that's just where I thought my, you know, skill set could best be used. <laughs> and it was just for, you know, a group of elderly uh, people around the Burlington area that just didn't really have the capacity to rake their own yards. And, you know, they would come and watch and, like, sometimes bring us out drinks and food and things like that. And you could just see in their eyes that they were so happy. And um, the scope of how you volunteer can be very different as well. So, like, raking for one day uh, is something that I did, but I also uh, volunteered for a semester through Champlain. Uh, as a volunteer income tax assistant, because I'm an accountant, and I help people of lower incomes uh, do their taxes and get a refund and things like that. So uh, what you can do, you can do a wide variety of things, and sometimes you can use your major or your own skill set uh, to uh, find what's right for you. Um, I think that's really important as well. Yeah. And that can get you a lot of experience with stuff too, especially, yeah. um, I know we don't have a, we probably don't have a lot of grad school students um, who watch our podcast but my dad when he was in law school worked for volunteer lawyers association he said he 
way out of law school now, and he goes, I will never take that off my resume because it shows that I've done pro bono work. Um, it shows that I got experience from that. Mm -hmm. So it can give you experience, it can give you job experience that'll be helpful to you, it'll be helpful to the people who are um, benefiting from it, and it might show you something that you want to do eventually. You might want to work in a nonprofit area of the industry you wanted to do, or it might show you that you don't want to work in a certain area, like if you wanted to be like a corporate accountant or something like that, um, and then you like go and work in this nonprofit, or, um, or you volunteer um, like Peter did, then you might say, oh, this is what I want to do. And there are nonprofits, there are colleges that like will hire um, accounts to do help like that for people with lower incomes. So you might say, this is something I'd like to do with my life, and it might it might show you what your dream job is. Yeah, I mean, that that pretty much recaps the volunteer. Why should I volunteer? It's kind of a very broad mm -hmm. topic of, you know, it's kind of selfish when you think of the question of why, why, why yeah. you know, that's my time. But you're gaining skills for yourself, you're refining skills depending on what you're doing, you're getting the opportunities to get these great stories, you get to give back and feel great about it, and it's, it's just, it's a wonderful thing to do, not only because it makes you feel good, but because you're gaining all these things, so do it. <laughs>